What's going on guys, it's Will. Hopefully you're having an amazing day today. In this video, we're gonna be going over the next monetary breakthrough for small artists that they're going to be experiencing with music NFTs. And we've already seen a lot of small artists experiences uh, from just the big labels getting involved, but also people doing it independently and making hundreds of thousands of dollars from their music NFTs. And we've done a few interviews on this channel with some other artists such as Spotty Wi-Fi, who actually made around $200,000 with only around a, a thousand monthly listeners on Spotify. So that's amazing. Now, when it comes to this video, if you enjoy it, make sure to hit a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you're trying to learn about music NFTs, royalties, and how crypto is kind of affecting the music industry, then make sure to just subscribe and also check out the free Facebook group down below where you can surround yourself with other artists that are all using music NFTs to their advantage. Now, getting started, the first thing that we have to look at is our current uh, ecosystem for our music. We know that if we get uh, streams on Spotify or on Apple Music or what have you, we're going to get some compensation for that music. Not to say that it's tiny, uh, but for the amount of work that you put in, it really doesn't justify uh, wanting to try and make a huge income from streams. Let's say that you put a lot of work into getting, for a small artist, what might be great, 10,000 streams on your song. While 10,000 streams might be a lot of marketing on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and getting people from your YouTube video to your Spotify, it also will only pay out around $50 with today's streaming revenue that you'll make from your distributor, whether it's CD Baby or TuneCore or wherever you distribute from, like I said, around $50 for 10,000 streams. So you move 10,000 people to this song. You've made a great song, you have album artwork, you have all of the things that go into that. Maybe it's a music video, sound engineer, mixing, mastering, maybe a couple different mixes, maybe you paid people for the music video and whatnot. So by this time, you've spent quite a bit of money or you haven't, but then you have to pay a little money to distribute your music. And after getting 10,000 plays, you only get around $50. Now, this isn't terrible, but it is kind of hard to maintain, you know, a career in music if that's going to be the amount of money that you make. Now, I'm not going to say that it's impossible to make a career with streams, but it has been extremely hard to actually make a consistent living only from making streaming money um, back. And so when it comes to NFTs coming along, it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys that might make sense for you as an artist if you're just trying to monetize your music a little bit more and make more of an income with your music. So with NFTs, Basically, let's say um, from those 10,000 people that you had to move um, to get 10,000 streams, if you simply directed your energy rather than trying to get 10,000 streams, but get only 20 of those 10,000 people to pay $50 for one of your music NFTs, which might be uh, a music NFT of that song, then those 20 people spending $50, uh, that's going to come out to what? Around a thousand dollars for your release so uh, with that being said you know you've basically rather than trying to get 10,000 people to uh, stream your song and you get less than a penny for every stream uh, you make an NFT of the song you still have it out on streaming but you make an NFT of the song and you can enhance it and offer as an NFT and we'll get to the enhancing part first I just wanted to cover you know the general overview of like the financials and why it might make sense and how you can make more money using the NFTs um, but anyway once you sell your NFT uh, you could actually let's say sell each one for $50 20 copies you're gonna make around a thousand dollars now when it comes to the sale there also could be resales, so anytime that that NFT resells again, you can get an income on that resale. Uh, so it could be around 10% or 20% that you might get every time someone resells your NFT. And we'll get to in a second why they might want to resell your NFT. So the next thing that I think is really important is to know uh, that it's totally free to mint your NFT music. 
So you could take your music and go to a place like OpenSea that we talk about on this channel a lot. Make sure to subscribe. And then you can mint your song with the album artwork, um, maybe some lyrics, a description of your NFT, and we'll get to you know some of the utility that they're going to get by owning it. By using OpenSea, uh, it's free to mint. You're going to get to keep all the rights to your music. And the best part is, is you only have to pay around 3% of the sale to OpenSea. So rather than basically only getting less than a penny, you're going to capitalize on 97% of the value that you can put out and retain from your music NFT. Minus if you're using Ethereum, uh, there's two options, right? You can use Ethereum or you can use Polygon. And there's also some other options that are being innovated, but right now it's Polygon and Ethereum. If you're not sure what those are, they're just blockchains where NFTs are being able to get offered and I'll get to why they're valuable. Now, when it comes to the Ethereum blockchain, you're going to have to pay gas fees, but they have this uh, subsidiary, I, I like to say, uh, it's a side chain that's a part of Ethereum, um, that's on the Ethereum protocol. Um, however, it has no fees associated, it's called Polygon. And when you use Polygon, you don't have to pay any fees. Uh, so they have this integrated into OpenSea as well. So you can mint your NFTs and it's totally free. And the people going to purchase them can purchase with crypto, or a credit card, which is great. The smart contracts of these NFT music um, artifacts, you're basically making sure that when they own it, they get some things by owning it. And you want to make those things valuable. So having the ability to maybe get into any concerts that you have in the future, or they own another version of the song that's not available anywhere else that gets granted to them when they buy the NFT, or another version of artwork that could be album artwork or an audio piece or a video that gets unlocked when they buy the NFT. Uh, those are some things that you can add. And then if you wanted to get really, you know, intense with the smart contract, you could even say if you own this NFT, then you're going to get some uh, royalties whenever it plays on streaming. So basically how that would work. And we cover this in our three keys to music NFTs uh, in detail but just a basic overview is you might add some value to your song and enhance it in some way by saying you pay $50 for the NFT version of the song. You get all those things that we talked about, like the unreleased version. Maybe it's a concert ticket as well. Um, but it could also double as whenever I get this money on streaming, I take it from my distributor. I send it to your wallet that you bought the NFTs with and now, just by holding my NFT song, you're going to get a certain percentage of the royalties that I make on all of the streams for this song. So that's something like they pay $50 up front, you get to keep that, you can use it for marketing, they might do some marketing for you because they own a percentage of the song and they want it to grow so that they can make an income. And then, you know, if they make an income, then great. Uh, you're going to get more streams, you got paid up front and you just simply pay them out on a periodic basis every time that you get streaming money you send it to them so that's kind of like a few examples of some smart contracts and some unlockable content that you could integrate uh, and just you know basically say if you own it you get some of this value and it's really important that you make sure that you can add value otherwise why would someone pay fifty dollars for the nft version of your song the other thing that adds value is that it's issued by you the artist which means when they buy the nft they are investing in your career. They could resell it later. If your career is going well, they might sell it for more than $50 or more than what you listed it at. So that could be a win for them being that they got to invest in your career early. The other thing that is really good uh, about having it verified on the blockchain that it's issued by you uh, is that when they own it, uh, it's kind of like a signature. It shows that they can have it easily verified that it is in fact a collectible issued by you because on the blockchain everything is open ledger you can go and see exactly where everything is on the blockchain uh, so you get to give them that value of like yes it's issued by me and it's very clear that it was by me and, and you have that uh, so that's something that adds the digital collectible side uh, or adds a little bit of verification to that side of the digital collectible as we said, rather than getting 10,000 people to go listen to your song on streams, which you could still do alongside this, you would um, not get $50 for those 10,000 people. But maybe talk with those 10,000 people 
and see if they want to buy your NFT. They cost $50. You sell 20 of them, you've made $1,000 for your song. You do this with every song you release and you have a pretty good income for your music. I mean, you'd have to release a lot of songs, over a hundred songs per year to make over a hundred thousand dollars per year. Uh, but you kind of get it. Like there's also the resale value where if they buy it and then they resell it, then you could get a percentage of the royalty on every second market sale for the NFT. Uh, so there's just a lot of value to be added to the song if you offer it as an NFT. We cover that in depth in our free Facebook group. So if you want to surround yourself with other artists that are all learning about music NFTs, then make sure to go check out that Facebook group down below. There's also a free uh, ebook that will help you with your music NFTs as well as three keys to music NFTs down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. It's been great making YouTube videos lately. The music NFT space has been awesome and got some great videos lined up for you. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.